following a Victoria's Secret model makeup routine. I came across a video on Vogue's YouTube channel of a Victoria's Secret model um, doing her makeup routine. So I thought I would follow it, follow all the steps and see what the outcome looks like. Also, I just wanted to point out, this is a burn on my face. Basically, I was curling my hair and stupid me accidentally put the curler on my face and now I've got a massive burn. Up by mixing uh, my moisturizer and sunscreen. So she mixes sun cream with moisturizer. So I'm just gonna mix some sun cream and some moisturizer like she does. I'm just using the Anatomicals moisturizer and some random sun cream that I found in the cupboard. She probably uses like a really expensive one, but we're just gonna go with what I have. And also the moisturizer that I'm using got sent to me by Anatomicals. So thank you very much Anatomicals for sending me that. I actually really like the moisturizer and you can get it in boots as well. And this is to prep my skin. Skincare is so important for your makeup routine. Lip balm. I really love this one. I've gone through so many different kinds of lip balms. And okay, so she's just putting on some lip balm. So I'm just gonna be using this one from Anatomicals again, which they sent me. It's amazing. And it gives you like a little gloss. We use a shade darker than my skin tone and I blend it out. Oh my god, she uses the Georgia, George, I can't even say it, Georgia Omani foundation. And I think that's like 60 something pounds. So we're not going to be using that. I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Fit Me foundation with the ordinary, a really dark ordinary foundation. And I'm going to be doing it a bit darker than my natural skin tone because that's what she does. Um, so I've got a bit of that on my hand, a little bit of that. I don't actually know how she applies this, so I'm just gonna see it now. Just a little is fine. You can use your hands. She rubs it in. I've literally never rubbed in my foundation before. So let's see how that goes. Oh my God, it actually feels so weird rubbing it in. I'm so used to using like a beauty blender or a brush. I'm not sure I like it. I feel like that's the easiest way to put foundation on. And I don't like hiding. I love to contour my, my face. Like it looks bad now, but if I'm blonde. Okay, right, she uses some cream contour. So she doesn't say which one she uses. So I am just gonna use um, this hula one. It And then she blends it out with like a buffing brush. So I'm just going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush and just buff it out how she does. It out, it should look fine. With this particular product, I guess it's just harder to blend it out with my hands. I'm using it with a brush. It looks like she uses a cream concealer. Always cover them. And they're gone. I booked the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Like, and I love this product from Glossier because the finish is really sheer. I like it to look like I don't have anything on, which is always the goal for my everyday look. Like I can't cover my pimple. <laughs> Next thing she does is apply a blush from Tarte. You can smile so you can see your cheeks and see where you should put the blush. Put a little on mine. It looks like she uses a cool toned brown shadow so i'm just going to use a shadow from my morphe palette and just dip into that start in the middle and then work your way up and you take a little and you just spread it all over but you can see the difference like just makes your eyes pop more and i get the smaller brush and i put a at it here I put a little, what do you call the sides of my nose? Up here. Don't forget the highlighter. Just a little. She is exactly the same as me. I naturally have quite thick eyebrows. I mean, they're not as thick as hers, but she uses an eyebrow gel. So I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. one. I brush them up with a brow gel. Cause I feel like my brows look better when they're brushed up. And I've been told by her doing this. <laughs> Cause I, I've cleaned at the bottom and then Drag it up. I don't really, that's what I do. I feel like it just sets the makeup and it makes- I have no idea what face mist she's using, but I'm just gonna use a Primark one. She's most probably not using a Primark one because let's face it, 
uh, she's a Victoria's Secret model, but I am on a budget, so I don't have the lipstick she has from Charlotte Tilbury. The thing that's closest to what she's using is MAC Velvet Teddy and this Bourjois lipstick. I don't know what the shade is, but I'm just going to mix these two together and then um, hopefully we'll, we will have a complete Victoria's Secret makeup look. And it's, again, like I love everything natural and nude. So this is my final makeup look from following a Victoria's Secret model makeup tutorial. Um, I have actually really enjoyed following the makeup and I actually have picked up a few kind of things that I might use every day now. If you would like me to follow any other makeup tutorials, let me know down below. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to hit 1.1K and hopefully we can get there at the end of January. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video.